Life's all about moments, and we've sure had some interesting moments in the history of Nigeria. That brings us to our question on today's episode of Inside Nigeria. Can you name some moments in Nigeria and what happened then? That's our question for you today. So let's get to the street and hear what the people have to say. As a young boy, I used to know when penny, not naira, one penny. Do you know that at a time in the history of this country, our, our money was one on one with a pound? Young boy, you could buy postal order, put it in an envelope, send it to a shop in England. They bring you something. Postal order, British postal order. If you have five naira then, you can use it to buy a lot of things. We are talking of 1990s, 1990 to 1996. You can still use five naira to buy a lot of things, but now it's practically useless. The worst thing that has happened to this country is a military coup. Way back 1984, probably I was in primary three, four. Then we used to buy geisha, probably at the rate of probably two kobo, ten kobo, and with that we get our lunch easy at school. So during those days, life was so easy. Our I used to remember about um, six years ago when next children used to be very like very low. Where Naira was like it was like the thing of the old world then. Like in Naira in Naira, um, like a dollar then used to be like 160. But now check out the dollar right now is it's skyrocketed to like um, about 367 for for one dollar. A tin of milk. How much was it? Was a tin of milk, eh? but now no, not anybody, not many people can buy even the powdered milk. You understand what I'm saying? So when they talk of development, I don't like to use economic terms because development has to reflect on the welfare of the people. But everybody is talking development. Development is not building school. If you say development and I'm no longer eating well, what am, what do you say? They keep on telling us that we are out of. Session, but between me and you, we know that nothing. I don't think anything would have happened in this country except I remember the sad ones, the civil war. Maybe two years ago, I think um, there was constant supply of electricity then, but now it's wavy. When uh, Nepal got privatized, now that it's been privatized, like things are moving well, we always have like constantly. In 1960, when we became independent. They, they sacked workers in coal mine. In, they say we're getting independence. The workers say that somebody hungry doesn't know independence. Somebody hungry doesn't know what they're talking about independence. So my people leave when I say, if you eat in the morning, then I can listen to you. But you don't, everywhere is hopeless, politics have spoiled everything. But the beginning is the military because it took us back. There's a lot of money for us to eat. You can feed your family and then, if you have a father, you, you, your father will talk to you, you listen to your father. But nowadays, in fact, so many people don't even listen to their father because your father cannot feed you anymore. Small boys, you can put them in the train, they go to school in Kano and come back to Lagos or go to the East. There was no kidnapping, there was no arm robbery, there was no nothing. If people see a small boy carrying his box, wearing school uniform, they will help you. Because they know you are what? You are a young boy. People were coming from Kano, down to the east, down to the west, to go to school. No fear, just train. But now you step out of your house, you are lost. You stay in your house, you are lost. Where do you go from there? The difference between now and then, you don't hear anything like militant, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of money for us to eat. Those days, there was nothing like Tokumba. Nobody who was buying Tokumba. You go to Nitego, you carry what you go to Pan, you carry 8,000, you buy a, a brand new pigeon. Brand new, no, no, no. When we say chassis, new. How many people are driving new cars today? So many people are suffering, and you know. You just need to tell our government the truth about what is happening in Nigeria. Uh, languages have meanings. When you say the play has an operational definition of development, but no more. Huh? There's no more. So when they say the youth, I don't. I feel. I feel sorry. I have children like you. Some of them are in my house. They are not working. The West became independent in 1957. The East, 58. 
It was the not that delayed our independence until 1959 when they became independent. That's why our independence came in 1960. So, but all those efforts made by Wallowa, Namda, Zikiwe, Sadono, Sokoto, the military young boys came and destroyed it. That's where we're suffering to today. So many people are suffering. You might be rich. I might, have my, I might be a middle class person that can still feed my family. But so many people are lying on the road, dying every day. Go to North. You know what is happening in the North presently now? Today, Boko Haram, yes, men. What is happening? Nobody. Nobody's talking about it because everybody wants to protect their jobs. The states used to have their own spring courts. The states. The states used to have everything independent of the center. The states were paying tax to the center. As independent, when you say region, they were independent. This country had been existing in the form of three or four regions. The eastern region, the northern region, the western region, and then finally by 1963, the midwestern region. The military came and destroyed it. And that's what we are struggling for today. This thing you are talking about restructuring or regionalization. That is the only thing. They destroyed, they took us back prior, even prior to the colonial masters because we fought, our, 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 our nationalists fought for regional, regionalization. The West had a premier, the North had a premier, the East had a premier. The word premier means like governor. Jonathan relinquished his position as president. I mean, it was, I mean, the whole country was um, happy about it, you know. Because everyone knows that the man didn't function well. You get my point. But still, but at least, I think that was one of the moments where I, I really like, I mean, things that are really happening in the country that we really like, Shane. Now, uh, when I left the university so many years ago, my salary was, I don't think it was up to 5,000 a month. I was living in a two bedroom apartment. I had a small bit. You know, Nikkei here. Two bedroom. I was paying 200 naira a month. It's difficult to believe it, but it's true. 200 naira a month. Two bedroom flat. Can you rent one bed, one uh, face my face with 200 naira? I lived in this street. Transport to Lagos was 10 naira from here. As a young boy, you come here. Broad Street or Marina? Because my office was in Martin Street. 10 naira, you stop saying Marina. And then I'll take you to you now. Become one of us by clicking the subscribe button or follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for more interesting stories.